All right, guys, welcome back to Monster Misfits. We appreciate you guys joining in, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the zombie toes. Let me see how well you can see that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way to sculpt some zombie toes. It's very, very simple. Uh, just take you a chunk of clay, you know, about big toe size, I guess, and just Keep working it until you uh, get the base of your toe. So we've already got a toe right there almost. So we want to work this big end as uh, the main toe. So we'll just work it. And uh, get the, kind of the shape of the front of the toe. And we're going to take a chunk out of the bottom. Okay, work that in there. Now these don't have to be perfect because they are zombie toes. Keep that in mind, guys. They, they are zombie toes. Don't try to make them perfect. You want imperfections in them. Uh, you know, you don't want uh, you don't want a perfect zombie toe. And we're just gonna cut the toenail in, and I'm just using my my, my thumb and uh, get our nail started. I like that. Well, it looked like it's been ripped off the zombie. He done tore it off of somebody and eaten it. Give it some divots. So now there's our toe. I mean, you, you could stop right there and now you have a zombie toe, but we're gonna take it a little step further. We're gonna tear a chunk out of the side of this uh, so, because uh, you know, toes, a lot of toes ain't always perfect, so we're just going to tear a chunk out of there just to give it a little bit of character. And don't have to be perfect, just uh, tear your chunk out. Yeah, like that, big old sore in the toe. Now we will take this and we'll cut us a little thing in here for our toenail. Now you can see we have a toenail. So you want to take this part and just feather it back where it's a little thinner or a little smaller than that toenail. So that toenail is sticking out just a little bit. So you know on a zombie toe, you need some nasty looking nails. You gotta have nasty nails on your toe, on your toes. So we're just gonna take a uh, like a chunk out of it. And then you just put some lines in it. Kind of look, make it look gnarly. Put just some divots in it. And just smooth it out a little bit to get the chunk off of it. So most, most toes will have a little bone right here. And I like to just to situate that just a little bit. So we're just gonna take a piece of clay, stick right on top of that. Then we're just gonna blend it in. So now, now we have this gnarly zombie toe. So what I suggest guys, if, if you're only gonna do one toe, that, that's fine, but if you wanna do something else with them, like if you wanna try to sell them or make a bunch for a necklace, 
My suggestion to you is make about 10, 15 of these. Like you said, we just did this one in about five minutes. So make it about 10, 15 of these to point, to make you a mold for them. And uh, you'll thank me later on that because you do four or five and you'll be like, oh man, I should have did more. So uh, just keep stuff like that in mind. And plus uh, I seem to use a little bit over too much ultra cow. Uh, I seem to overdo things. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make some more toes and we'll come back and I'll show you all the toes that I did. And uh, we'll mold up about four or five of them and show you, I'll show you how I did, did the mold. So stick around guys. Welcome back to Monster Misfits, guys. Today what we're doing is we're sculpting some zombie toes. I've already got four of them sculpted up. I'll go ahead and I'll show you one since we've got them in the mold already. Uh, we did a zombie finger. And what I did is I just stick a piece of wire in there, stick it in this, stick it down there, and we're gonna pour this up in the mold. So I'm gonna show you that, and then we're gonna build a little mold for this. Uh, zombie finger and uh, we'll mold it up and I'll show you how to do that So I have uh, My zombie toes like this this is gonna be the end where it was chopped off at and What we did was stick a piece of copper wire in there and we put it about an inch three quarters of an inch or something like that off the bottom of the foam that way the ultra cocking out of there and we're gonna uh, use latex and we'll fill this all in latex, then we'll uh, take it out and we'll just foam fill it or whatever. So we'll have some little foam filled uh, zombie fingers and toes. And I'm just going to fill this to the top of the toes, not over the toes, just to the top of the toes. So we got it right at the top guys, if you can see that. Cause we can't do over the top or we will never get in there to get uh, our um, clay out or um, put our latex inside the mold once it's done. So that's probably a little bit more, more ultra cow than you really need. All right guys, we're getting ready to pull. We poured uh, latex in our mold. Now this mold is overkill. So uh, if I was you, I'd probably make it a little bit smaller. I just uh, seem to make big stuff for some reason. But now we're gonna pull our toes out and see what we got. Now I did, I did pull my finger out and unfortunately uh, I didn't get all of the clay out because it's so far down in there. But I need to get all the clay out of there and that way I have, cause I didn't get the tip of the finger, but we'll do that later on. But let's, pour, let's pull these out. So what you do whenever you mix, mix with latex is pour some ultra cow in the hole or some baby powder so your uh, latex does not stick to itself. And let's see what we got. Now this, you're seeing this for the first time as I am. So let's hope uh, it works out. Pulled out there. Just work a little bit at a time so you don't rip it or anything. Just, just work it around. And there we go. So we have some clay left on that. And that's fine. That is fine. Whew. So there's our other zombie toe. Now we're going to trim that up. And that's where a piece of clay was stuck on it. And that's fine. That's it. But just gives it character. It's a zombie toe. So now we're going to trim a little bit of this up and get that off of there. Uh, maybe foam fill it, or we can do it like that. I mean, it's pretty stiff the way it is. 
And uh, maybe we'll just leave it like that. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll put some foam in there or cotton. Or, we'll, let's fill it with cotton. Let's cotton stuff this thing. So there's our zombie toe, guys. Uh, of course, you know, this is the piece that was holding, I had in there to hold that sucker up so we could um, make sure we got enough ultra cow underneath this to do a 360. So we'll just trim that up. Let's trim that little nodder off of there. There we go. And uh, we'll trim a little bit of this off here. Not all of it, just leave a little bit of flashing on there like that. So it looks like it's been uh, chopped off. All right, so what we're gonna do guys, we're just gonna um, foam fill in these things or paint in the butt. Now I foam filled the first one. Now they're pretty stiff, so it's, it's not gonna hurt them, but uh, I'm not gonna foam fill these cause it's just very minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cotton stuff these things. So we're just going to throw some cotton down in there just to kind of make sure it stays rigid somewhat. So like I said guys, on this toe, it was a piece of clay on that. so. That one's gonna be a little messed up. But as always, don't use that to your advantage. So you're gonna have one unique toe that's kind of screwed up on the side. That's your advantage, leave it. Don't, don't try to fix it, leave that sucker. And uh, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put some stain on this. All right, so what I got guys is some dark stain and I'm just gonna stain that. Just make it all dark, it ain't gonna hurt it. So now you got this gooey nail. Now when you clean these off guys, just pat it. Don't wipe it, just pat it off. And this is all I'm gonna do is just put a little bit on a stick. Or if you got a brush or whatever you wanna put on there, and we're just gonna put it put it right on top of there if you can see that. Hopefully I'm getting that in the camera. There we go. So there's our toe. It's like it being ripped off. There's the next one. Okay, the next step is, what we're gonna do, is we're going to put uh, clear fingernail polish on the nail itself. So we just got some uh, Rapid uh, rapid Dry LA Color clear fingernail polish. And uh, we're just gonna put some right on that nail. Now we have all of our zombie toes stuffed with cotton. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some latex on top of that, just so, because if you put any kind of liquids on there other than latex, it's gonna soak into that uh, cotton and it's gonna take forever for it to dry. So what we're gonna do is put some latex over top of that. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of this nasty green. Show that a little bit. We're gonna put a little bit of this nasty green on these toenails. Yeah, we might throw a little bit of acrylic on there too, just, just to give it a little bit more bright of a color here, there, and yonder. Okay. So now, this should be fairly dry. Now, this, this fingernail polish dries pretty quick. So now, we're just going to take and go right over that fingernail polish. Whoops, that's too much. Now 
And we'll just take a uh, paper towel and wipe that off a little bit. Because we just want to highlight it a little bit. We don't want a whole lot on there, but we want to kind of dry brush it, I guess you could say. Just take your, take your paper towel. Just, there you go. So now we just got a little bit of yuck in there. It's like old zombie toe or something. So what I have here is some wet from freight props. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, clear our toes with this wet here. It's just a clear coat. So we're just gonna put a clear coat all over. We want some shiny, we want some shiny uh, zombie toes. Or I do anyway. Now you can leave it like that and uh, you can uh, just put you some matte on it if you want a matte looking uh, uh, toe or whatever. But I want mine just kind of shiny. Put some up in there. Bugs are hitting me. So we'll put some up in here. So I just went showed you through the process of making these zombie toes. Uh, we got four different styles of zombie toes here. I just did sculpt 10 more, so we're gonna have a bunch of toes here before too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably put, put these on a necklace and have four toes per necklace. And we're gonna start selling these bad boys. So you wanna stay tuned for that. They're pretty gnarly. Uh, you can see, here's some lighter ones. You can see that. But we hope you enjoy this, guys. And I'd love to see if you made any or how you made yours. Uh, there's different ways you can make them, polymer clay or resins or however you want to do it. Mine just happens to be, you know, uh, latex and we built it full of cotton. Then we put some latex over the ends of them and you know, just that way it's all, all protected. Anyway, we hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep it creepy.